Hey everyone, Nigel Tutorials here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a double exposure effect. This is what the final effect is going to look like, so let's get started. First thing you're going to do is open up the image that you're going to do the effect on, and you're going to paste in the image that you want to be revealing. I'm going to do this photo, and we can just hide that for right now. Select layer 1, and grab this your quick selection tool, and just outline the face. This selection doesn't have to be too perfect, but we want it pretty close. And to delete anything, just hold Alt whenever you click, and it'll subtract it from the selection. Alright, so there we go. That's pretty good. Now, unhide layer 2 and select it, and now we're going to add a layer mask. And you can do that by clicking on this circle inside the gray square. And we're going to change the blend mode from normal to soft light. And by doing that, you'll be able to see both the images. And that looks pretty good already. But to make this effect even better, we're going to change the curves of it. And you can do that by holding Alt and clicking right here on the curves. On the window that pops up, check the Use Previous Layer to, cre to Create Clipping Mask. Then click OK. And what that does, it only changes the curves of, of the layer right underneath it instead of on all the layers. All right, and we can drag the curves around. I want it to be a little bit darker. So I like that. And we're also going to do that to the to layer 1. Again, hold Alt, click Curves, check this box, click OK. All right, and I want this to be a tad darker, but not too much. I like that. And one helpful tip, if you want to change the position of the image that's showing through, like the forest, you can, on layer 2, click the link and unlink them. And then make sure you have the image selected, as I do right here. And with your move tool, you can reposition that image. So you can show more of the trees, or move the position of the waterfall. Like you can put it on her nose, or on her eyeball, or you know, just wherever you want. So that's pretty nifty to know. I think it looks good right there, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And that's it. It's that easy to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like, favorite. Comment below telling me how much you like it or what you want to see next, and subscribe for more like this one.